That was pretty terrible. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad. Our dog just stink bombed us. Oh. I don't think that they get that out of her at boot camp. I can't really smell anything right now either. Unfortunately, I can. She didn't crap back there, did she? No. <laughs> She's just a stinky farter. <laughs>
we want to be able to take her to the beach like we did last summer and let her run around without being terrified of what's going to happen if another dog comes by. So um, it'll be better for her too so that she can actually enjoy more of this awesome outdoor lifestyle that she's supposed to be having. Yeah. Right, Lucy? Right. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, um, I don't know how easy it's going to be to take video at the place, but I'm sure going to try to give a little overview of what it looks like and what kind of stuff they're doing if I'm able to. Um, if not, then we'll just summarize later. But that's what we're up to today and we have high hopes. And then the basic plan is that she'll be getting trained while we go do um, Anzo Borrego State Park and Joshua Tree National Park and head over to Quartzsite for the Convergence and the RV show. And then we'd be coming back to get her and, and, and go through training. that training Yeah, with her. So that's the tentative plan. We're pretty excited about it. I'm very excited. So we'll let you know how it goes later. Bye. Bye. Great job, Lucy. <laughs> Nobody look. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to do an evaluation, but okay. I definitely want to be able to get the training. Okay. <laughs> You're doing pretty good, Leo, with your little evaluation. Hey, everybody. Hello. We uh, are just finally getting around to filming our conclusion about how it went with Lucy. Yes, yes, my darling little dog is gone. Little pit bull puppy. Right now. I miss my dog so much. There's like nothing over here. There's no, there's no, there's, there's no, no dog. There's no Lucy. <laughs> um, so, anyways, um, we had said that we were going to try and film a little bit of the training facilities and stuff, but it felt kind of awkward in the setting that we were in. Yeah, it wasn't like this huge place we imagined. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 was, it wasn't this huge training facility that we had imagined. Um, it was, they actually have a training facility with agility courses and all that, but I guess they keep the dogs in more of, uh, I guess, a residential setting. Yeah. Um, so we dropped Lucy off and we got to go through an evaluation, um, which kind of told us what kind of, uh, what do you call it? what her personality, personality types was. were like they did a they had a sheet with all the stuff on it and they did a few different tests like having him try to keep her focused on him with meat while she tried to endure different types of distractions whether yeah. it was trying to scare her or just trying to distract her or how jumpy she is yep. um oh he also like held her I'm talking about the trainer now the trainer <laughs> held her and turned her away from us and had us leave and then put her down when she couldn't see us to see what her bond was like and how much she would look for us. We have such a tight bond. We do. She was, she was, <laughs> he said she was very distressed that we were not there. And I yes. guess that's another thing that might change. Yeah. Um, but she did really well on all the other stuff. Like we consider her very easily distracted by squirrels and bunnies and other dogs and noises. But on their tests, she was apparently not very yeah. distracted. <laughs> Apparently when you have meat in your hand. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's the trick. <laughs> um, and they kind of went over like everything they were going to do yep, the whole even, time. They even brought a, a, a dog out to show us exactly what kind of training no. she would be getting. That was amazing. This dog was incredible and I wish I could have videoed that part. I probably should have, but this dog like stayed right next to him as he's walking even like when he keeps turning like this and she and she, or he the dog was yeah. he would just stay right next to him and even like if he lifted up his legs the dog would go between them <laughs> and like weave around and um 
all kinds of awesome commands. I think the one I'm the most excited about is go to your place. Yeah, place. Um, and heal. Which in the trailer will be great if she has a place so that she won't be on people when they come in the door and stuff. And then heal will be great for hiking and walks. Yeah. Pretty excited about that. Um, so... I have yet to call and see how she's doing because I don't want to be the worried parent. That calls the first day. That calls the first day of school to Which make sure. the second day, so Lucy's it's totally okay. cool now. <laughs> so, I miss my dog a lot, but she's getting trained, which will yeah. make our lives a lot easier and, and hopefully make her life more enjoyable. The setup looks good. They're in kennels in this house um, when they're not being trained and not... Um, working with someone and she gets her own you know little kennel spot um, she didn't seem that distressed by how many dogs were there so that was good yeah. and they um, showed us all the supplies that we would need which is a 1 foot leash a 15 foot leash and a 30 foot leash yep. and they use them for different purposes the 1 foot is for like keeping them right with you around the house until they get used to you being in control of them and then 15 foot they said is for training and then 30 is for like leash training getting them used to being off leash yes um and then because we're doing the 20 day boot camp and because she has such dog aggression and just anxiousness about other dogs she's going through major socialization training she'll be socialized with the other dogs there um not in the first few days but once she's ready for it and then they're going to be taking her to like home depot and pet smart and dog parks yeah. and all different kinds of places on a daily basis to socialize her and they did say that that's very important for us to do once we get her back because most likely this all started when she stopped being socialized with other dogs because um, she didn't used to have a problem with it. No, she didn't. And then once um, Brian started working really long hours and stuff and I couldn't take her places because of how strong she is and how much aggression she would have. It just got to the point, well, we can't take her to dog parks. We can't have her around other dogs. We try to avoid it when we're walking. So she now has this whole buildup about how bad it is. Yeah. And she's not used to it. So it just exacerbates the problem. So we have to go out of our way as the dog parents when we get her back to socialize her with other dogs on a daily basis. Yeah. When we're walking her, let her see and visit other dogs. Take her to dog parks. Maybe we even take her to stores or wherever we yeah. could take her. So um, that's really important. And then one thing we really liked was that the day we dropped her off, they said that she wouldn't get any training that day. Yep, we dropped her off at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but they said she wouldn't be getting any training that day, that it would just be kind of a, a break-in day, her getting used to her surroundings. and Getting acclimated to the other dogs being there yeah. and to the place. And so she was going to just get acclimated. And then so yesterday would have been her first training day. So we probably will call today and just see how she's doing. Um, they did say they'd send some pictures and videos yes. throughout the 20 days. But I don't think it's like a guaranteed everyday thing or yeah. anything like that. Um, but it's just cool that they would even consider it. Uh, and then we set up our training schedule for when we get back. We will arrive... Um, with four days left of her 20 day boot camp and we will be going twice a day twice a day for four days i think it's at 11 a.m and five four five 11 a.m and 5 p.m or something like that for an hour each so what we'll probably do is go for the first session and then you know find a starbucks and just do some work school whatever and then go back for the other session because it's like an hour from our campsite yeah so that would be a better use of our time than driving back and forth but we're pretty excited it was a smaller place and not really what we were expecting but the people seem to really know what they're doing and they have an excellent reputation they do and That's seeing that <laughs> yeah seeing that dog in action was really amazing too yeah it was very encouraging but you know they make the point that that dog has been continuing to be trained it's not like our dog's gonna be like that when we pick her up yeah. in 20 days and we have to really continue to reinforce the training so that's why we get trained and I want to ask all kinds of questions about how we keep reinforcing it and how we keep going with her um, and like if she does something she's not supposed to do that maybe hasn't been covered in training how do we handle that and if we want to teach her something new how do we handle that I want to know how to keep going with everything yeah so but um that's pretty much the 
the update on how that went. <laughs> I miss my dog. Yeah, I miss her too. Scruffy little head. I really miss her too, and I thought it would be a little easier for me, but I really miss her too. The trailer seems really empty without her there. It does. It does. I'm quiet. And so does the car. I think the cat misses her too. I don't think the cat misses her at all. I don't think she's even noticed. Phoebe misses her. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now, and at some point, we'll provide an update on the situation, and of course, there will be video when we pick her up, and she's like, this awesome master dog. Master dog. So, bye for now, guys. Bye, guys.